Okay, let's go ahead and grab the curve snap tube brush. And it'll be right here on the outside. Now, one of the things that I know um, that often comes up with me when I'm working is sometimes I want a little more leeway. So I'm going to go into my stroke panel. I'm going to switch it to freehand and I'm going to select lazy mouse. I'm going to turn my lazy radius up to about 30 somewhere close to that 29 is fine and I'm going to just drag it around here oh this is much easier I get a little more control um, not as much as I needed in the case that's a little better so let me undo I want my action I'm going to make it a little longer uh, give me even better control 57 will be good and start right about here go I can stop and wait until I see the red line again and then start again here mm -hmm. all right and so I can pull it uh, whoa. make sure that these two touch in the back here so it'll be one mesh everything looks okay that's a little bit thick but um, I'll just undo it and make it a little thin okay so I just made that adjustment to save time I paused it but if you make the brush smaller and you extrude I mean you follow the snap brush you'll get a thinner line and this is a this is a good line that's something that I need um, I'm gonna go ahead and add it under arms too so I'll go ahead and hit delete that'll delete the curve and allow me to make a brand new curve so let's go right here under arm here and let's connect again here get a good angle so that it doesn't uh, go stare crazy on me and take it up to the top and there we go and just run it right into the closing point let's zoom in a little bit here we go all right that'll work just fine all right so back up we have it on both sides because I have it mirrored and that looks that's pretty good I don't have a problem with that um, I may want a seam that goes from here to here all the way down the jacket um, in this case why not let's do that let's do the same thing here so I'm gonna hit delete again to delete snap line and go from ear to ear here and I'm gonna delete that and do one more get in good position so I can try to get it all as much as possible with one shot now because I zoomed out it actually changes the size of my brush so I better zoom back in I don't want that much of a difference that's good mm -hmm. and wait for the red line to show again and let's get it right here to the cusp of the cuff right there it's good all right and I'm gonna hit delete now that's a stiff angle there that's okay we'll make we'll make that adjustment fairly easily uh, later on all right so once I have all of that there uh, I look around and see if there's any place else I need to add anything um, maybe a rim around the base the nape but nah we leave that alone all right so what I'm gonna do now is hit group split um, if you look right here in your sub tool palette you look at split if you hit group split it'll work it's the same tool I just once again dragged it over in my customized uh, interface so I hit group split and uh, in this case I just started ZBrush so I'm gonna say always okay keep this note until the next restart meaning anytime I hit it it'll just do it for me and now if we look here all of those points that I just created are now their own their own layer so let's turn this back on frame up there we go all right so now I have the jacket and then I have the ridges I'm gonna go ahead and combine the ridges um, turn these guys back on as you can see I'll turn that off I don't need that all right so she had a George Jefferson hairstyle I love that all right so let's go here and we're just gonna merge down all right so one two three all right these guys are back they're all together and I'm going to go ahead and take that mask off so now I can adjust them when I need to separately so if I come here 
and just make a little bit more of a so it won't look so straight give it a little more life there we go and when we add wrinkles to the top we'll be able to do the same thing All right, let's pull back okay so let's make a collar um, let's choose a new tool for that I'm going to go back to this knock the mask off I'm going to hit my brush select and I am looking for my curve strap snap tool in the next video let's do this let's come back and use the curve snap uh, strap tool to make a collar for our mesh